Did you know the Green Bay Packers are owned by the people? They're called the people's team. I think that's really interesting. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, but uh, and, and it's funny because people that buy stock in the Green Bay Packers, most of them do it because they want to be able to say they're part of an NFL owner or they are an NFL owner. They own part of an NFL team, uh, but the stock never makes money. It always goes, goes bad and they have to like sell more shares and everybody buys them because they want to be part of an NFL ownership. Uh, but Yellow Van Handyman is the people's business. So let me explain to you why this business is so different. First of all, I would actually be very happy on a daily basis using my drill gun. This is actually mine. You see how beat, this, beat up this is? I love the work. I love doing the work. The reason why I, and, and I'm gonna you know, show you something. Like I can put different tips inside of this thing. This one's a Phillips tip, it's usually in there. This one is my Robinson tip or my square drive. And, whoa, I dropped that. I like that one too. The reason why I like the Robinson drive is because it has better engagement with the screws and they don't, they don't slip off. Um, if you really want to get serious, you can drop a drill bit in there. That's pretty cool. Those are, this is a step drill. I really like these for, for uh, drilling holes. It's just a bummer when one of them gets a burr on it and then the whole thing is ruined, so you have to get another one. But usually I have the Phillips tip in there. So I love doing the work. Uh, it brings me a lot of satisfaction. The reason that I'm not in a truck is because I'm running this business and so I consider myself a servant CEO. Uh, I had a great idea, I put together a great business model and somebody needed to run it, right? And so, uh, but I get a chance to fix things. In fact, the truth is the reason my bag is here and my cordless set is because upstairs in our headquarters, the Home Task Support Center, there is a, uh, a light above one of the desks that has to have a ballast changed. And I'm here shooting some videos over a weekend uh, because I'm uh, traveling tomorrow to go skiing with my family. And uh, the light's out and I just noticed it, so I'm gonna fix it. There you go. I sleep better at night when I get a chance to fix something. So uh, yeah, Yellow Van Handyman is the people's team and it's owner operators, okay? I like to call it an employment replacement business. So you're primarily working on your own. Sometimes you're gonna hire help uh, as you need it, but it isn't a business where you're gonna go into it and you know put 20 trucks on the road or something like that. If that's your vision, talk to me and I'll tell you what I think you should do, but it's not gonna be a yellow van handyman. If, uh, if you wanna build a big business again, I'll, I'll explain that to you how to do it, but what Yellow Van Handyman is for is for people who love to do the work, people like me, and people who want to own a great business, to operate a great business in their community, actually out serving people, doing the repairs, making stuff happen. That's what Yellow Van Handyman is about. There, there are opportunities to expand the business, uh, but that is not the point of our business. Our business is for people who love doing the service, want to go out and make a great living serving their community, solving problems to their customers, fixing things, going home and doing their thing in their life and having enough money to actually be able to live their life in the way that they want to live it. So I'm a big fan of Yellow Van Handyman. I'm a decent fan of the Packers, but they're not my number one NFL team. But I love the fact that they're the people's team because Yellow Van Handyman is the people's team.